Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a love reading. Let's check on the energy. I'm asking spirit today, you know, who is in love with my Virgos? Now, this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those, and thank you to those who donate to the channel, and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, Virgos, okay? Hope that you had a good weekend. I hope that you are ready for the week ahead. Now, Crosswatcher, if you are in here and you're dealing with a Virgo, feel free to flip the rose. But what is the energy here? Who is in love with my Virgos? Show me. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Give me a card for going forward. Thank you. We do have the devil at the bottom of the deck, which is Capricorn energy, okay? Now, someone here could be a little bit obsessed with you, okay, Virgos? Someone could be trying to make up their mind whether they want to come towards you. Now, the first card that came out it is in the reverse, and it is the moon card. Now, it almost makes me want to say that whoever this is, okay, if they have been kind of in this background, um, kind of been keeping quiet here, not saying anything, kind of maybe just watching you from a distance for some of you, or for some of you, it could just be someone who's maybe been keeping them feel their feelings to themselves. Um, the moon card in the reverse, this could be saying to me that, you know what, someone here may be getting ready to say something. Someone here may be getting, um, in that energy where they're about to release whatever fear it is that they have. This is an energy of anxiety subsiding. Because it feels like with the moon in the reverse, this person knows that they're only deceiving themselves. By not speaking up. And I'm hearing um, a song in my head. So for some of you, this has been a long time coming. Yeah, but a change going to come. So we have hangman energy. So we have heavy Pisces out here, Virgos. Could also be dealing with a cancer. But you see, the, the, the tricky thing is, is it looks like going forward. There's still some sort of a stuck energy. You know, the hangman it is about taking a temporary pause so you can see something from a different perspective. But I also feel like the hangman energy is, it is quite important not to get stuck there. Um, the number 31 could be significant or someone could be in their early 30s. That is not going to be for everybody. Show me more, Spirit. The moon in the reverse. Who is in love with my Virgos? Queen of Cups and the Seven of Wands. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Like I said, there's heavy Pisces and Cancer out here. Or somebody sees you as very loving, caring, nurturing, warm. But they may also see that you are keeping yourself to yourself here with the Seven of Wands. This is almost like someone who is very focused on self, self-love, self-care. Show me more. This could be someone who may be thinking of gifting you something. Oh, someone here may feel like you're very intuitive. High Priestess with the Queen of Cups. So that's why I was here in self-awareness. You're very aware of certain things around you. The full card. Aquarius and Aries energy. Somebody sees you as a free spirit. Someone here. Okay. Um, I was going to say weird, but someone may feel like you are maybe a bit mysterious. Seven of Swords. Hmm. hmm. All right, show me. What is this? 
The moon in the reverse. Who is in love with my Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Oh. So you got the four of wands in the reverse. Show me more. With the page of wands. <laughs> what is the four of wands in the reverse? Somebody freed themselves from some sort of relationship or some sort of marriage. Death and the rebirth at the bottom of the deck with the lovers, queen of swords and the ace of pentacles, the king of pentacles and the ace of wands. Show me more. What is this four wands in the reverse? The four of cups, so four, four. Number 44 could be significant. Six of Cups. This is someone who maybe feels like they missed an opportunity. Now, for others of you, this may have been someone who chose somebody over you. Or like I said, maybe this is someone who was in a relationship where they feel like maybe they missed um, a chance here. What is the Page of Wands? The Death and the Rebirth. <laughs> the good news is that someone is free from something. Now, this could also talk about someone who has maybe, you know, had some sort of um, awakening here. Let me just... Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Uh... Okay. Now, for some of my Virgos, okay, this could be someone, I mean, if they are still in some sort of a relationship or I don't know if this person may be having issues with their stability here or maybe a home situation. Spirit, show me what that four of wands is in the reverse. How is that four of wands here? We have the Emperor and we have the Seven of Wands. Yeah. What is the Emperor? See, me to me, the, the Emperor could talk about someone who, you know, maybe they have children with someone. Again, they could be married to someone here, but you got the Seven of Wands with it. So it feels like, you know, someone here is very defensive yeah the ten of cups it, what is the four ones in the reverse a family situation maybe it is about their own family what is this and the temperance but there's some sort of balance being restored and again you know like i said for some of virgos maybe this situation has taken patience it has taken time you could be dealing with a soulmate here with a temperance energy or there is some sort of divine intervention. What is the temperance? The three of pentacles. I feel like some of you had to wait for something here before you could work or build with this person here. Three of swords at the bottom of the deck with a moon card and the four of pentacles. Hmm. What is the four ones? What is this? The lovers wanted to jump out here, Gemini energy. What is the four of ones with the four of cups? Show me. Who is in love with my Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. So we have the page of swords. Yeah, delayed communication. Um, the page of swords can also talk about delayed information here. This person watches you for some of you, six of wands. And then you have the ten of wands. But you see, it's almost like this person would have to drop some sort of burden. Like I said, there's an energy of somebody maybe packing up and leaving a situation that is too stressful. That I'm hearing demands too much of this person. And this person is watching you and they see you having some sort of success here. They may have even learned something from you for some of Virgos with the Page of Swords.
they could have even been waiting for some sort of information to come towards them before they made up um before they made a decision about something i'm hearing a final decision about something so it's almost like for some of you right let's say how do i give an example i don't want to use that example thank you spirit um let's say i'm trying to think of something let's say this person was um <laughs> living with someone right it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic situation but i, I feel like it may have been uh, and they find out that this person um or their intuition was telling them that this person is is deceptive or they're doing something behind their back or they're lying about something it's almost like this person may have been waiting for some sort of concrete evidence and once they get that evidence they're like yep that's all i needed i'm out of here right they're gone um What is the page of wands with the, yeah, I'm gone. Wait for me, Virgo. This is almost like a quick departure. It could also represent a quick arrival as well. But something, yeah, look at that, six of swords. It's almost like someone here was waiting for something first. Something to be revealed. Someone could have been dealing with a queen, a fire sign next to the devil. Anyway, what is the page of wands and the death and the rebirth? Thank you. We have the eight of swords. We have the five of cups. Give me one more. Yeah, I feel like for some of you with the seven of pentacles and the two of cups, this person is very much reflecting on the things that they invested in or who they invested in here, right? I feel like it's an energy of this person regretting of not choosing you. What is the Eight of Swords with the Five of Cups? Thank you. Coming out sideways is a blockage. It's a Six of Swords, which is that energy of moving to calmer water here. Now, for some of you, okay... It, it kind of makes me feel like with the Page of Wands and the Eight of Swords that, you know, there may be some sort of communication or information here that came out, whether it's for you or this person. I, I can see it two ways, right? This person may be healing from something that happened to them or something that maybe they found out. And for others of you, it just feels like this person is really in their head about reaching out here, sending you some sort of message. Someone here could be crying over spilt milk because... They feel like you've moved to calmer waters here. Some of you, you may even have started some sort of new relationship with the death and the rebirth. What is the, um, why is the five of cups here with the eight of swords? Why is the five of cups here with the eight of swords? Damn, eight of swords clarifying the eight of swords. An energy of feeling trapped, restricted. Show me more. Why is it here with the Five of Cups? The Nine of Cups, because you was wish fulfillment. Who is in love with my Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. Hermit energy. It's your energy, Virgos. Unless you are dealing with another Virgo. Or it could just be someone who is, like I said, that they're just really in their head. It really does feel like a mental prison. It's almost like, for some of you, this person doesn't think about anything else. Ace of Swords. With the Four of Swords healing something with you. I don't know. Look at that. Four of Wands. Wow. Four of Wands with the Six of Wands, the Ace of Wands and the Strength card. For some of you, this person may want to marry you. Or they may just want to come towards you here and yes, maybe offer you some sort of commitment, but it doesn't necessarily have to be marriage. It could be a long term relationship. For others of you, I am also seeing here that this person may be realizing that you was someone 
significant in their life like so this like i said for some of you you may be dealing with like a soulmate or a twin flame here but it's almost like this person would have to find the inner strength here to take some sort of leap of faith and whatever choice they made here or whatever they did here in this situation virgos they're realizing that that wasn't such a wise choice because someone here is now feeling defeated here yeah look at that Five of Swords, Six of Cups and the Two of Cups. Are they looking back to whoever they chose and they're saying to themselves, why? It's that energy of slap yourself, you know? What is this Nine of Cups? The Seven of Cups. With a king of cups and page of cups. This person, whoever they chose over you, they may have thought that that person was wish fulfillment to them. But they may be seeing, yeah, the moon card. They may be seeing that that situation was just an illusion. For others of you, that seven of cups is about them coming towards you, right? Because they know that you're wish fulfillment, but they just don't know how. What do I say? What is the hangman energy? This makes me feel like this person is a night owl as well. Or like I said, they, they've got so much going on in their head with this anxiety energy that they're finding it difficult to sleep. Ace of Wands. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Look at that with the devil. Look at the person in the corner. Look, look at this person in the corner. Look how they're holding their head. I'm hearing them. <laughs> Is that Kylie Manone? I just can't get you out of my head. Boy, you're all that I think about. Show me more. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Show me more. You have the Queen of Cups. I feel like this person may be obsessed with your energy. Clarify. <laughs> Man, Virgos, whoever this is, I almost feel sorry for them. What is this Ace of Wands or the Seven of Wands in the reverse? Oh, the Empress. Show me more. The Nine of Cups. And the Knight of Pentacles. So very slow energy here, okay? But the Knight of Pentacles is to me that energy where someone here may be thinking to themselves, you know what, it's time for me to plant some seeds, like some long-term roots here. The Knight of Pentacles to me is an energy of not only does somebody, for some of you, want to finish what they started here, But they want something to go the distance. To me, sometimes the Knight of Pentacles can also talk about making a practical plan. This is someone who sees you as, I want to say, divine feminine or divine masculine. Take it how it resonates, right? But the Empress out here with the Ace of Wands, you're very abundant. You're very fruitful. You're very creative. Very intuitive for someone here, or you may possess other gifts. But why is that seven of wands in the reverse? I feel like it could just be saying, you know, this person may feel like you're going to be very defensive and, and they may get a surprise. Maybe you're not. I don't know. Where are you at, seven of wands?
Mm. Now, the Seven of Wands in this deck in the reverse, it talks about folding on your beliefs. It talks about giving in or up. It says admitting defeat. So why would that come out here? Why is the Seven of Wands in the reverse? Maybe there was some sort of differences in beliefs here. I don't know, maybe somebody thought you was toxic or low vibrational, or, um, but you're actually not. You're actually coming out as very loving, caring and nurturing with this Queen of Cups. But show me more about this Seven of Wands in the reverse. Why is that there? Hangman again with a Knight of Pentacles. Oh, spirit, that don't really help me. Knight of Pentacles. It's about being patient. It's about being practical. It's about being loyal, responsible. Show me more about the Seven of Wands in the reverse. The Eight of Cups. Walking away from a certain situation. What is the Eight of Cups? The Two of Wands. So for some of you... Uh, you know, I was going to say it, but I wanted to see what what came out over this side. For some of you, that hangman energy is about, like I was saying, this person may be stuck in another situation here. Um, could be a toxic water sign. Could be they could have someone who is very codependent on them. What is this devil and this queen of cups? Ace of Pentacles, maybe someone who is financially dependent on them here. Nine of Swords. Show me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. We've got the Star card and the Ten of Swords here. For some of you, this person may be healing from something. Four of Swords, Star card. But the Ten of Swords is about a betrayal. For some of you, this may be someone who did betray you somehow. I don't know if somebody did something for finances. But we have the star energy at the bottom, lovers and the hermit. What's that ten of swords about, spirit? Why is that ten of swords here? Three of pentacles. Now the betrayal could just be that they put you in a third party situation, but show me more. Because for some of you, it looks like there's some sort of teamwork here. The Ace of Cups. What is the Ten of Swords about? The Five of Wands. Yeah, if someone, if they chose somebody over you, it looks like that situation turned out to be very chaotic here. With the Five of Wands energy. For some of you, this person may feel like, you could be in a new relationship. They may feel like there's a lot of competition here. Um... For your attention. Clarify this three of pentacles. The high priestess. What is the ace of cups? Came out together again. The eight of cups and the hanged one. What is that hanged one and the five of wands? The hierophant. Yeah, I don't know if this is about religion. I don't know if this person is married or there's some difference um, in terms of beliefs. But look at that, the world card with the eight of cups. If that's the case, it's someone who is putting those issues or thoughts or whatever aside, because it looks like this is someone who is, I'm hearing, they're going to do it for love. Look at that, Eight of Cups with the Ace of Cups. That makes the Nine of Cups energy. You are wish fulfillment to this person here, Virgos. We already have the Nine of Cups out here. Now I'm hearing who sings that. Give me a second. <laughs> Is that uh, Lionel Richie, maybe? You are my destiny. You are my one and only. You bring great joy to me. Aww. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. That's the truth for someone. One more. Ooh, I was going to say, what's the Five of Wands and the Hanged Man? Look at that. Two of Cups in the reverse. Disharmony, 
disconnection, imbalance, incompatibility, unhappy couples. <laughs> Let me not laugh. Who, if they are in a, a relationship for some of you, that is not a happy place. We should know we've got the four wands in the reverse, right? And I don't feel like it's helping this person watching you <laughs> kind of energy. It just almost like it reminds them even more that they're unhappy where they are. Could be they could be with a queen of wands. <laughs> Ace of Swords. I oh, know. Look at that. The world card keeps trying to jump out my hand. So I don't know. Maybe this person has been trying to end things with this person. But like I said, they may have someone who is very clingy or they ain't going to let this person go easily. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Here are three cards. Who is in love with my Virgos? I am spirit. Listen. Damn, the first one I'm seeing, it says... <laughs> I don't know if they're dealing with someone who's... Cuckoo. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Because the first one I'm seeing is the number 23, which boils down to a five, which talks about change. And it says we're all mad here. <laughs> it says everyone is a little different. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Strange encounters. Yeah, you have create your own happiness regardless of the conditions. Man, I'm not even going to lie. I just heard something stinks. So, <laughs> listen... I don't know where we're going with that. And I'm not about to try and find out. Yeah, it says, who in the world are you? It says, getting to know the new you. All right, too many cards. I just want three. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, let me stop. Spirit, I'm hearing it. I'm hearing something smells fishy. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to talk about a, a smell that a person has. It could just be, you know... Maybe something ain't clean in the milk here or... Man, spirit, give me three cards. Who is in love with Mother Ergos? Can I get two more for this situation? Thank you, spirit. And one more. Beautiful. For some of you, I don't want to force it, okay, because I don't actually really see it out here. Now, it doesn't mean that it isn't going on just because, like, the magician or whatever isn't out here, okay? Um, because you have forgot who you are. So the number 41 could be significant here. Or, again, this energy of, of the number five, right? Lots of change is happening here. Um, it says conditioning falls away. For some of you, uh, your person may have been dealing with somebody that dabbles a little bit, right? Maybe there was something here that was distorting this person's view. Man, I'm not even lying. It's like I'm looking at this, right? And I don't know if you can see, but you see how their eye, this person's eyes look? Almost like they got some sort of glasses on or rose-tinted glasses or whatever here. But it just gives me that energy of not seeing clearly. Mm. Yeah, the number 16 could be significant. Again, it boils down to a 7. Maybe there was something that someone was eating or drinking. But you have nostalgia. It says idolize in the past. It says fear and you've made a mistake. Yeah, and I wonder what will happen next. Ready to adventure. Pause before action. Hanged man. So let's see what actually fell out of the deck. 
So the first one here, it says, it's a number 30. I believe this is meant to be 38. So that boils down to what? Eight in threes, 11. Yeah, a significant connection. It says you are rare and free. It says there, it says, there are not many like you, Virgo. Empress energy. You have a number 25, which boils down to a seven. It says, wake up. It says, it's your moment. And then we have a number nine, which could be significant. September, someone's birthday could be, someone here could be a September Virgo. You have curiouser and curiouser. Yeah, this is this almost like, um, how do you say, um, oh man, I always get tongue tied with the words that I want to use. It's almost like. It says discovery, it says inquiry, it says weirdness and curiosity. Told you this person, did I say in this video where this person may feel like you're a little bit weird? <laughs> but it's like you intrigue this person's curiosity. It's almost that energy of I, I need to know more. I need to know where this could go with this Virgo. Show me a little bit more about this person. How are we doing for time? Give me six cards. Thank you. So we have, I want you. And then landing on this four of wands in the reverse and the page of wands. It was kind of bang in the middle. It says, we both know I'm not the one for you. And that is with wake up. It's your moment. So maybe this person knows that they're with someone that they know is not for them. Or maybe they're doubting themselves that, hey, maybe this is just too good to be true. Show me more. You have so many things remind me of you. So this person may be getting a lot of signs and synchronicities, right? Curiouser and curiouser. You have, I want to be more than friends. What was this? I'm starting to understand our connection. Give me one more. Yeah. Page of Swords and the Six of Wands. So again, Virgos, you may be on some sort of platform here. Like I was saying at the beginning, you may have taught this person something. Or maybe you've just helped them to see things from a different perspective. I am grateful for the spiritual lessons. Again, I just saw three, three, three on the clock. Signs and synchronicities. I just parted the deck on, I'm afraid to contact you. Give me six cards for this situation. Thank you, Spirit. You have wedding rings. Mm. It says union. It says wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love. It says everlasting promise. What are we getting stuck on? Oh, twin flames. The phoenix, the palm tree. But I'm also seeing girl talk. Make a clear message. Thank you, Spirit. Who is in love with my Virgos? We have healing heart. It says healing from heartbreak. It says freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah. 
So it did land on that Ten of Wands, right? So for some of you, this is someone who has already wa walked away from a situation that it seems to have broken their heart here, um, you know, and it's made them maybe very cautious or it, it's maybe made them see love as almost something that is scary, right? Some of you, this person may be healing. Oops. So we have two coming out here. So we've got wedding rings and engagement ring. It says engagement. It says partnership. It says commitment, eternity, completion and union. We also have clock. OK, so it says need time. It says takes time. It says in time. It says cycles. It says time to heal and progress. So for some of you, you're dealing with someone where their healing process can't be rushed. It's almost like I'm hearing for some of you, you know, someone here, they, they need time to learn to trust again. So they may feel safe being at a distance from you, especially if they kind of have these kind of emotions floating around in their head. And they're like, you know, damn, why am I feeling like this? You have camera. It says reminiscing. It says keepsake. It says perception. It says learn from the past. It says make memories. And one more. Thank you, Spirit. Last one. Beautiful. So oh, we have two. Okay. So it says sunglasses. It says watching. It says looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception. It says focusing out. And then we also have the bolt. It says receiving what you need. It says progression, arriving. It says moving on. And it says closure issues. So it, it does make me feel like for some of you, okay, um, that they may put whatever betrayal this is behind them. And, and, you know, like I said, with the star card coming out last, it feels like it, the energy here at this moment stops at them being in their head, going through some sort of healing process. Um, for some of you, you know, maybe you won't hear from somebody this week, but you are on their mind. you got to let this person do what it is that they need to do, right? Because at the bottom of the deck, you have the sword and the rose. It says clarity. It says truth. It says revelation, solidarity, force, honor, and protection, and power. So this gives me the energy of the ancestors, right? Very much trying to help this person. And then behind it, you know, we have Cupid's arrow. It says, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meet in hesitation. And then we have the talking card. You see with the butterfly and the coffee cup. Give this person time for some of you. All right. Six cards, and then we're going to end out with some love oracles. Six cards for this situation. Or three. I'm actually here in the number three. What do we have? Thank you, Spirit. Anything else? Okay. Anything else? Yeah, I was hearing three. So it could be, you know, that maybe this, like I said, this person... Okay, let's see what the cards say. First one I'm seeing, it says, last in love. It says, this is your true love. Aww. Oh, my God, look, we've got marriage out here twice. So it says, for some of you, this may be, you know, a relationship that leads to something long-term, marriage, commitment. It says, wedding bells are ringing. Well, this is definitely... This person that's saying to themselves, man, I could really see myself married to the Virgo, living out my life with them. And what is the last one, though? We have time apart. It says a time of separation. All right. What do we have from this deck to end this reading? Give me three cards. Thank you, Spirit. And one more. Can I get one more? Oh, 
Thank you. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? Damn. <laughs> you got to look inside yourself with healing. Yeah, this person may be doing some introspection. So the one that does catch my eye, it says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. It says, every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So it's that energy where, you know, yeah, reflection, this person, they, they shouldn't blame themselves for whatever has gone wrong in their past. You know, like I was saying, they may have felt like they've made a wrong turn or a bad choice. You know, spirit says, just learn the lessons, you know. Yeah, see, I'm telling you, for whoever you're dealing with, it's important, Virgos, that, like I said, you give this person their space. Because it says it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. It says instead of placing your focus on another, it says now is the time to give to yourself. So, we have, oh, Twin Flames. It says your passion ignites. And then you have freedom. It says there's nothing stopping you. It says the path is clear if you want it to be. And then you also have, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. It says through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So it's that energy of, you know, some of you just have to wait unless this is you. Until this person kind of picks their head back up and realize that, you know what, life does go on. And it's also that energy of them stepping into, they actually want life to go on. They actually want love in their life, true love, right? And if it means that they have to sit back and maybe observe you for a while, then maybe so be it. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to sit around for those of you that, you know, I'm not saying, hey, sit around and wait for this person. I'm speaking to those of you where maybe you know who this is and, and you're prepared to wait. But in the meantime, in between time, it looks like you're working on yourself. So, Virgos, that is what I have. I actually wanted, Spirit, can you give me any specific signs of who this may be for my Virgos? Let me just see if I have another card in here that very much... Um, represents cancer and pisces i see cancer oh yeah pisces okay so it, can you give me any specific signs who this may be any clues from my virgos we're going to go one more shuffle. Yeah, I'll be back. Someone who maybe has some sort of plans to return. Yeah, this is why I say you could be dealing with anybody, okay? So you just have to know your story. So I'm seeing Sagittarius. I'm seeing Aries and Taurus. You have Virgo. And then you have um, Sagittarius again. This could have been someone who lied to you about something or wasn't totally honest. You have Aries and Scorpio. And then you have Leo and then you have the fixed signs, which I believe are Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. Who have I missed? Is it Scorpio? might be Scorpio. But Virgos, that's what I have, okay? So again, if anything resonated with you in this reading, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But Virgos, cross watcher, if this is where we part, guys, stay safe, love and light.